Hello and welcome to another edition of Talking Tunes. I am your host, Frank Walsh. And ladies and gentlemen, you know that I have always tried to bring you quality entertainment. And as you look to my right here, you are going to see a couple of individuals who have been on the show almost a year ago. And since then, they have traveled the world, seen a whole lot of things, played a lot of music. And for those of you who may not know who they are, I have sitting here to my right, Miss Janice DeBloy, who is the mother of the internationally famous Tony DeBloy. And Tony is one of a kind. He is a man who is a gentleman. He is an audience pleaser. He has played all over the world and entertained many. And I can say that I have had the good fortune of seeing him perform many times. So it gives me great pleasure to welcome back Janice and Tony DeBloy. Janice, you, how are you? Good. Tony, welcome back, my friend. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, I, uh, I really appreciate you coming back. Um, well, actually, I mean, to tell the truth, I really appreciate you inviting me to the show. <laughs> Because if I remember correctly, when we were out a week ago, you wanted a command performance here on June 17th. So here we are, just for you, you, my friend. So Janice, why don't you uh, take a couple of minutes to catch the folks up at home. Uh, give a little brief bio about uh, you and Tony. Okay. Tony was a preemie. He was born in 1974. He is blind because of the amount of oxygen that they had to use to save his life. And he was diagnosed as being autistic when he was five years old and is having savant syndrome when he was 15 years old. He uh, graduated from Berkeley College of Music, has a diploma in performance. Tony, at, when he started Berkeley, he does not read or write they actually had to ask him questions in such a way that he could play the answer on the keyboard. He did not, he could not even consistently answer yes, no questions. But if you asked him about music and you asked him so that he could play the answer, he was able to do all the scales and everything change uh, to different uh, keys and everything when he was asked to do it. It is an amazing story, and um, for those of you who may not know, they have made a movie out of Tony's life up until the time Journey of, of the that Heart. movie called Journey of the Heart. So why don't you talk a little bit about that, Tony? Well, it's about my life. It's inspired by actual events. Silpa Shepherd played my mom. Chris Samuchal played me. I played five of the songs from the soundtrack, and I said, Mom, this one's for you. That's my ah. line. Tony played the very last scene in the movie. Very, very cool. So I suggest yeah. that uh, you go out and look up that song. Uh, I'm sorry, look up the movie uh, Journey of the Heart. Go on Netflix. Yep. And also uh, Amazon has it. Amazon Amazon.com. As well. yep. Now, Tony, we know that one of the reasons why you wanted to come on was to talk about a new project. Just that to you tell were people, we just recorded my eighth album called Jesus for Gershwin. And it's almost done. Um, come to Scholars Jazz Club, September 22nd, for my CD release party. Uh, mark your calendar. Uh, get your tickets in advance. And go to the Scholars Jazz Club website, www.scholarsjazzclub.com. You can scholars jazz just go to scholarsjazz.com and reserve the tickets. And the Bill and Bo Winokur Band will be joining us. We'll be joining me at okay. Scholars with my or band. Or we'll be joining them, I think, is the way they've actually... Uh, which is yeah, my whole band. exactly. <laughs> now, how cool is that? And, uh, the Bill you know, and Bo we, Winker we've actually, guys. We, we've actually, let me tell you about them. Tony actually started playing with them when he was 15 years yep. old. I was at Skipjacks. And yep. uh, Tony had heard the... Uh, about Jazz Brunch. About a Jazz Brunch on what station? G WGBH Radio. On, on GBH. 
And at, all the more he could say and was I said, jazz Mom, brunch. Skipjack, skipjacks. <laughs> jazz brunch. That's the only thing I said. And I said, what's a jazz brunch? I had absolutely no clue. We called the and radio so station. And so then I said, well, where did you hear about it at? GBH. GBH. What's GBH? I had no it's clue. It's 89.7 FM. <laughs> so I uh, called up the radio station and asked them if they had just done a promo about a jazz brunch and they said yes and I said give me the information about it. We showed up to Skip Jacks and Tony was sitting there and beating his hand yep. in time to the music and then Bill was whistling a Bo's harmony horn to Bo's horn line and Tony started doing another harmony. I was whistling to Bill. Yeah and uh, so during intermission, as the band generally does, as they talk to their audience and came over and talked to us. And said, would you mind coming asked, up and sitting in? Asked about Tony, and I told him that he was a jazz musician, and I think he had just won. I just won the scholarship a, at that time. A scholarship to go to the summer performance Very program cool. at Berkeley. Very cool, yeah. And uh, they asked uh, Tony if he'd like to sit in on the next set. Went up, came time for the that. second set, yeah. Came up there and Bill asked Tony what song you wanted to Mika's play. Mika's Dream. Mika's Dream, which is a, a, I Par Silver. A, a very hard piece to play. Yep, and I played it. he looked like, at Tommy, the bass player, and goes, yeah, right. And I played the whole set. So he played it. Bill says he got shivers up his arm. Well, I, I can attest to that. I, I have heard Tony play, so I, I can imagine that. Now, um, Tony was mentioning scholars in the places that you September played. 22nd. September yep. 22nd. Mark and your when calendar. he says get your tickets early, he means it because Scholar is not a large place. So no, it's, it's not. You know, it's so a beautiful it, place. It is a beautiful and place. And we've so. sold out. This is our sixth, our sixth time. Yeah. Sixth time we've, yep. that we've played scholars. there. Yep. And, and uh, they sell out. So. Yeah. Now, Tony, let's talk a little bit about your CD, you know, that... This uh, is G is for Gershwin, this is for Gershwin. It's, now, all, Gershwin it's all Gershwin songs. Now, he has uh, many, many, many Gershwin, you know, tunes that he wrote. How did you select the ones that you selected um, for the CD? Well, we, we talked to the guys in my... Uh, Bill and Bo and the guys in my band. We spoke to the guys on the phone. We... I was listening to one of the CDs, and I said... This will be perfect. Let's go put on the album. Let's go put on the album. Uh huh. Right, Mom? Yep. So, what songs have you um, selected? Summertime is one of my favorites. Nice. Summertime. Porgy and Best, right? From Porgy and Best, yep. yeah. He sent me the, all, the whole selections of Porgy and Best. And, he, um, and then I was playing along with the CD going. I was busy practicing for, the eighth, for our eighth album, going through the songs. And then we went to their house, and we did a rehearsal with the band. We rehearsed with the band, with my band. We went through the songs. We went through five songs in my band. Five songs. And um, which ones did you select? A Foggy Day in London Town. A Foggy, a foggy day. day. That's a, that's good a good song. one. Yep. Billy Holiday. And yep. Sinatra did a nice version of that. I love... Let's see. You? Well, we did um, Embraceable You. Embraceable You is on this, on that one. Nice. Rhapsody in Blue. And Rhapsody in Blue, I'm doing is a piano solo. Yeah. Just piano. It's 16 minutes long. Unbelievable. I, I love that song. So we That's had to, one of my go-to songs. We when had to I go in a somber mood. When we went mm. to when we went to Peter, we had to we had to redo it again, re-record it again. Every, every time that he goes out, because he. Cause he goes out and he does an all request concert. Yes. I get asked to play Rhapsody in Blue all the time. We're doing an hour show and somebody wants Rhapsody in Blue. It, can you fit it on the minutes. album? You really can't. No. Can't do it can because it takes it on the away album? from Isn't all the good? other people oh, who want yeah. songs. So. It's a beautiful so we, we generally does American and in Paris, which has just a little it. bit of Rhapsody in Blue in it. Cool. We do. So we uh, rap American in Paris is already, Rhapsody in Blue is already on there. Nice. Yeah. And it's all done, and we had to pay for the mastering. We had to pay the engineering guy yep. to do my engineering, the CD. We had to get the copyrights, the royalties, get the licensing done. Yeah. A lot of work. And mom had to get the licensing and, and the right, pictures. And right now, it's not even 
completely finished because uh, Jim had to do my work on my cover, Jim Goslin, yep. for the cover he did for the, the album. The pictures for it, everything was all done. We got the back. pictures done, and we were, did the liner notes. Uh, Bo's friend is a photographer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, Marie so did we had, the, we, help we with the liner someone notes. To do the photographer, and isn't it good? Send everything to Jim. Jim Goslin developed. He's in Texas. Uh, shingles oh. in the eye. Oh, shingles in the eye. Yikes. And so Jim works on, does covers. Right now, we got to still get it, we everything gotta get put together. We got to get everything put together and, before the, it's wow. done. So I think we're going to end up having to get somebody else to but we'll do, find do someone everything, put everything online. together finally. Now, Tony, as you know, time goes by very quickly it does on this go show. By fast. What are you going to be performing for us today? Oh. I think people are um, anxious to hear you play. Let's do something from everybody. I just saw the play Carousel yesterday. Yes. Um, let's do You'll Never Walk Alone from Carousel. Okay. So. And maybe Summertime from And Summertime run. from the new album. That would be great. So, ladies and gentlemen, in just a minute, like, you are going to hear Tony DeBloy doing something from Carousel, and you'll never walk alone. And what's the other one? Summertime from the new album. Summertime. So, Tony DeBloy. The next song is called Summertime. Deep 
pretty baby don't you Wow. Tony, Good job. that was an amazing performance. Those two songs were amazing. I'm sure the people at home are really going to appreciate that. Now, Janice, I understand since the last time that we were here, um, shortly thereafter, you and Tony were going to be doing a road trip going mm -hmm. across the country, playing in many different places. And you had a little unfortunate nope. incident happen to you. However, somebody broke into my car. Yeah. Five of my instruments got stolen out of my car. Uh, trombone, my saxophone, wow. my guitar, my violin got st stolen. Yep. And we had to. We and did, keyboard. We have a GoFundMe page. Yeah. yeah. And people can set up a GoFundMe account, and it went all over Facebook on my yeah. phone. Yeah. Everybody really pitched in. They posted my, a thing on Facebook. From around the world. Yeah. yeah. Everyone from all my, the Nigeria. My, like, my niece. Put up a GoFundMe page, which raised eighteen hundred dollars for nice. them. Good. We had played up in. We were going up to Saskatchewan, Canada, so we didn't have our keyboard or our violin for up there. A uh, violinist from Nadia. Canada, Nadia, let me yeah. borrow the violin. Let him borrow her violin, and then uh, we. She had. A, we had her come perform during our show. And then she invited us to come back, and we played for a national uh, a TV company, children, a TV show, a, a national children's. We did a children's uh, fun, uh, fun oh, okay, thing. For, okay. For television, like Make a Way television. Foundation. Yeah, and uh, so we got to do that, and she, it was going to be one or two songs. It ended up being forty-five minutes of, up there. I had another guy that was in the audience there he gave him a guitar. His friend down in South Dakota gave him another trombone. Yeah. His friend in Fergus Falls, Minnesota, gave me another gave violin. A violin. Yeah. And Did you Lord, get a saxophone somewhere too? There, uh, I, I knew there was a horn there somewhere. I gave him a saxophone for for Christmas. Okay, she I knew got there was a saxophone in there somewhere. And Laura Beth Quinlan gave well, me a actually, keyboard. A, a, a gal from the Black Hills Symphony. Gave him an alto an, sax. An alto sax. Uh, yeah, Tony I knew plays was, tenor, I so I got him a tenor for Christmas. And Laura Beth uh, Quinlivan gave, gave me a him keyboard. A it's a Casio keyboard. keyboard. Here from Massachusetts. And folks, just to uh, refresh your memories, uh, Tony plays how many instruments? Twenty-three musical instruments. Twenty-three. I, I was giving 11. you a little too much credit. I was saying twenty-seven, but I'm sure <laughs> by the next show he'll be playing twenty-eight. I sing in eleven different languages. Yeah. Unbelievable. And I also do nine impressions when we're out. All right, give me a quick one right or, here. Or give or us a quick one right off the top. Well, since my baby left me, but um, I found a new place at 12. But um, well, that's the end of Lonely Street of Heartbreak Hotel. Very okay, cool. Missing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very good. That's a pretty good Elvis there. Yeah. All right, one more. A little pop quiz. Give us one more. Um, hey, Charles. Ray Charles. Let's see. We'll do it from the. Uh, we'll do it from the keyboard. Okay. No. All right, give a quick one right here. Unchain my heart, baby. Let me go. Unchain my heart, cause you don't love me no more. You got me showed up like a pillowcase, but you let my love go to waste. So unchain my heart, please shut me free. Dun, 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 dun. Ray Charles. Nicely done, Tony. Nicely done. Thank you. Nicely done. But um, again, time is fleeting. So uh, Janice and Tony, why don't you uh, rattle off some of the usual places where you can be seen? I know, um, are you still doing your brunch Sundays? No, we're not doing Sunday brunch. And we're actually doing mainly private functions. Uh -huh. and in fact, we're just doing a prison ministry for MCI in Birmingham yeah. and yeah. In the Southwest Middle East. Uh, July 9th we are going and to be doing 16th. In uh, Holliston on August 14th. No, 
We're going to be December first. Okay. Mark we your are calendar. Doing a fundraiser for children with autism. Autism, in, yeah. Uh, Uganda. Right. Now, how can they reach you? You have a website. Oh yeah, go to my website. website. www.tonydeblois.com. And that's D E B L O I S. Oh, I S. That's com. correct. So, Janice, thank you once again so Tony, much you're for coming. You're welcome, on. Tony. You're a national treasure, and I feel honored you're to have welcome. you in the studio. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Tony is going to be playing us out. So, you sit back and relax. Don't forget to support your local musicians. I am Frank Walsh for Tony and Janice. As always, tune in and tune on.